If you didn't already think that pointers in C were confusing, well then boy do I have a treat for you. And don't worry, I'm going to explain everything and it may end up making your programming career a little easier. C++, a language like C, but designed for people that like to spend hours debugging spaghetti code, but object-oriented, uses references in place of pointers in certain areas. References are like pointers, but there are some confusing nuances that get people in trouble, so in this video, we'll be discussing what a reference is, how they are different from pointers, and what they are good at, and how they work under the hood. If you're new here, stick around, hit that sub button. I put out new videos every week on programming topics like this and much, much more. So what exactly is a reference? What does it mean to reference a variable? In C++, a reference can be thought of like an alias or another name for a variable that already exists. To make a variable that is a reference in C++, you use the ampersand in the variable definition and set it equal to the variable you want it to reference. So here, for example, I create an integer i, set it to a value, and then a reference variable ri, which at definition is set up to be a reference to the variable i. Now, whenever I change the value of ri, the value of i is also updated. I can also pass the variable i by reference by passing ri in its place. So here I create a function that takes an integer reference as input. The reference variable is updated, which then updates the original variable that it displays is out of scope of that function. If you print the value of the reference, you actually get the value of the original variable. Here we print the i variable and then the reference before and after the call to that function. Both values for i are presented in those cases. You may be thinking, this sounds exactly like a pointer. How are references different than pointers? And, and that's exactly what I thought when I first learned about references. So there are some unique differences though that you should be aware of. Number one, references cannot be null. A reference must always be tied to a variable that exists. Number two, you cannot change the variable that is referenced by a reference. Once the reference is associated to a variable, it is that way forever. Number three, you cannot do math on references. A reference cannot be indexed, added to, subtracted from, etc., like a pointer can. And then lastly, number four, you can have pointers to pointers. You cannot have references to references. So the question is then, what are the point, what, what do you do with a reference? The pro of using a reference is that there's less overhead to use them once they're properly set up. In C, for example, using pointers to change the value of a variable through a pointer, I have to use this syntax here. And what this reads out to is the thing pointed to by px is five. With references, I don't have to even think about it. I can just update that variable through an assignment and the compiler knows what I mean. So here, ri is five, which updates i without me thinking about it. When I realized that references and pointers were actually in the same family, they kind of did the same function, my next question was, how do they work under the hood? It actually turns out, hey, guess what, C++ people, you're not that special. All a reference is under the hood is a pointer. And let me show you here. All right, guys, so what I have brewing here is a simple little program. I want to kind of show you the difference between a pointer implementation of updating a variable and the reference implementation. So here we have an int x. I set a pointer equal to the address of x. I also create a reference to x. And then using the pointer implementation and the reference implementation, I increment them by one and then I print it, right? So if our program is sane and it works, it should yield three, which it does. So we're going to break it down. We're going to use object dump to disassemble this program. And I want to show you what's going on under the hood. It's actually pretty cool. So we go to main here. Um, if you're not familiar with assembly, a watch my other videos, hit subscribe, da, 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 da. But after that, um, in, in this program, essentially what we have is a couple blocks of code happening. So the first part here is this is the program setting our variable X, right? It's just the number one. So one goes to the one C slot, right? And then after that, it loads the effective address of 1C, puts it into RIX, and then stores it onto the stack. So that's actually gonna be our PX, that's our pointer to X. If you look immediately below that, it actually runs the exact same code. It loads the address of 1C into RIX and then puts that on the stack. That is our RX implement implementation. 
So what that means is that a reference is literally just a pointer. So again, what is the difference between a pointer and a reference? All that's happening under the hood is that there is a pointer that references the variable. All of the protections that go on are happening at the compiler level where the compiler is aware that you can't change a reference and the compiler is aware of how to use the reference in this manner. So I think that's pretty cool. References are just spicy pointers. I wanted to show you guys that before we uh, wrap this video up. All right, guys, that's all for now. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, hit that sub button and then go check out one of these videos. I got one on pointers. It's pretty sweet. And then also I hacked my coffee machine. See how that went in this video down here. We'll see you next time.